Hi, this is Petey at Bergzerg Arcade at bergzergarcade.com and today I wanted to go over how to dynamically change materials. So I've set up a fairly simple scene here. It's basically just a wall with a material on it. Now let's see how it's going to look when it's running. So we'll hit play. If you notice I've added a little GUI down here, but when you click the buttons it cycles through different materials and you can also go back. So let's take a look how I implemented this. First I have your wall object which just simply starts off the first material. I've created 11 materials, or sorry, 10 materials total. And each one has a different set of textures. Now I've created a script that I've attached to the main camera which simply holds an index of how many materials we're going to implement and the game object that we're going to change the materials on. In this case it's the wall. Now let's take a look at this script. So it starts off, here's your public array of materials, here's your public reference to the game object you want to change the material on, and then we create a private int for the index of the material that we're currently showing. So we start off by showing the first material in our array and then in our GUI, the important part is right here. These are the two buttons. For instance, when you click the forward button, which is denoted by this symbol, it'll increase the index. Check to make sure that our index isn't out of bounds for our array. And then just simply re-render the new material onto our object. So let's take one more quick look at that. When you click the button, it, you can cycle through all your different materials. Now immediately dynamically changing the materials on a wall, it's not that exciting. But you could use this method for things such as uh, demolition derby, where you have your cars taking damage. You can change the material to reflect how dirty it's getting or how beat up it's getting, as well as mesh deformation. So you can change the shape of the car. Well, I hope this helps you, and I'll post the code up onto the website. I'll see you next week.